In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of variables, and I'll show you how variables are used in Python. A variable is a named location in the computer's memory. The contents of a variable can also change while the program is running. To set up a variable in Python, we do something as simple as this. What this command does is it tells the computer to set aside a piece of memory and to give that piece of memory the name place of birth. That piece of memory is the variable. It then puts the string Middlesbrough into that variable. We call this assignment. Now I can output the contents of that variable using the print command which we've already met. Now it's important that we spell this correctly. Notice this time that I'm not using double quotes around place of birth because I don't want Python to take that literally. It's not a literal string. I want to output the contents of the variable. Let's save the program and run it. I'll call it variables.py because that's what it's about. And you can see in the Python shell window, I'm outputting the contents of the variable. Beware, if you put double quotes around this, it is now a literal string and it will take you literally. What I'd like to do now is output the contents of that string variable as part of a more friendly message. I can do it like this. You were born in Middlesbrough. This time I'm taking a literal string, you were born in, and I'm joining it together with the contents of that variable using a plus sign. This is called string concatenation. I can add to the end of the message as well, like this. You were born in Middlesbrough, somewhere up north. Slight problem here between the word Middlesbrough and somewhere. I need to include a space in front of the S. That will fix the problem. Let's have a couple more variables. And now I want to output the contents of those variables as part of a message. Let's see how this looks. Hello Kevin Drum and welcome. We have a problem in that the contents of those variables aren't separated here. One way I could get around this problem is by putting a space after the word Kevin or by putting a space in front of the word drum but that becomes part of the data. I don't want to do that. I want my variables just to contain the first name and the last name and no extra spaces. So I'm going to deal with the problem in the print command like this. A pair of quotes with a space in between. Hello Kevin Drum and welcome. Now let's just prove the point that the contents of a variable can vary as the program is running. I'm going to copy these three lines of code and paste them underneath. And now I'm just going to assign different values to these variables. Run the program. Hello Kevin Drum and welcome. Hello Bill Gates and welcome. What's happened? We've assigned Middlesbrough to a variable called place of birth. And then we've output that as part of a message. We've then assigned 
the text Kevin to a variable called first name and the text drum to a variable called last name and we've output the contents of those variables as part of a message. We've then assigned new values to the variables first name and last name. Let's be clear, there is only one variable called first name and there's only one variable called last name. What we've done here is we've overwritten their original contents with some new values. And now we've output those values as part of a message. Perhaps you'd like to give this a go yourself. Set up a number of variables with various personal details such as your name, your place of birth, your gender and see if you can output them in one friendly message by concatenating some literal text in between their contents like I've done here. Pause the video now if you want to give it a go and I'll show you a solution in a moment. And here's my solution. Ada Lovelace, a famous English programmer. 